In today's episode, I'm going to share with you how I'm personally creating financial success in my life without hard work. Welcome to the podcast. My name is Bo, and I help people think strategically and heal emotionally so they can prosper financially and fulfill their higher purpose in life. So let's talk about success and hard work. You know, a lot of people think that the key to success is working hard, working longer, working more. And I don't believe that that is true at all. I think success comes from thinking strategically and acting compassionately. The combination of those two things is what creates massive success. Strategic thinking and compassionate action. So I want to give you an example of how I'm leveraging or using one of the 12 laws of peace and prosperity, specifically the law of leverage, how I'm using that law to create financial success in my life. So I am a marketing director for my girlfriend's company. She has a business and I'm the marketing person. I do the marketing and advertising and and stuff like that. So we're using the law of leverage to create success in her business and, and really scale that business to where it's making a significant amount of money. And the, the law of leverage basically states that if you know the right place to put your finger or if you know the right button to push, you can create exponential results in different areas of your life. Think of it like a speeding train. A train that's going 100 miles an hour down the tracks, how are you going to stop that train? You're not going to stop it very easily, right? Unless you know the right button to push. If you know the exact button to push, that stop button, you can stop that speeding thousand ton train or whatever. You can stop it if you know the right button to push. Well, the same is true in many different areas of our life. Sometimes it's just one little uh, thing that we just need to be aware of that can help us create success much, much faster than it would take otherwise. You know, there's the slow route and then there's also the fast route. And I don't want you to think of this like a a quick, like a get rich quick scheme or something like that, because it's not. It takes other elements. It's not just one thing. It takes a lot of different things combined together. But I just want to give you an idea of how to use this law of leverage to create success in your life. So specifically what we're doing is we're leveraging a few things. We're leveraging our knowledge. So me and my girlfriend both have knowledge, uh, quite a bit of knowledge in different areas. She has a lot of knowledge in her area of expertise. I have a lot of knowledge in marketing and business. And we're combining our knowledge together to grow her business and help it succeed very quickly. So we're leveraging our knowledge and our expertise. But we're also leveraging the power of the internet. The internet is a golden opportunity. If you're not, you know, prospering financially in your life and you'd like to, then you need to get on the internet. You need to start delivering value to people, helping people, solving problems, and get on the internet. Start producing value, making videos, writing articles, something, you know, because the internet is is just a golden opportunity. Like there has never been a better time to live than right now. Like there's never been more opportunity. Like, we don't even realize how good we have it. The internet has connected the entire world. You can reach millions of people very easily, very affordably, and it's just never been better. So if you're not on the internet and you want to prosper financially, you're crazy, I think. You know, I mean, it's just like the biggest opportunity in the world sitting right in front of your face and you're not using it. I mean, it's a little crazy in my opinion, but, you know, I I know people just aren't aware of it. And that's what I want to do. I want to help people become more aware of these things, these opportunities, so that they can harness them to create success and freedom and fulfillment in their life. You know, so we're leveraging our knowledge and our expertise and we're leveraging the Internet and we're leveraging the power of advertising, paid advertising. So there's different ways to succeed uh, through the Internet. You know, first of all, you have to have some sort of knowledge or expertise or some product or service that you can offer to people, right? You need to something that you can exchange. And that's the law of compensation. Another one of the 12 laws of peace and prosperity. You need something you can exchange for compensation. Then you need uh, to leverage the internet, be able to get on the internet so you can reach more people. But then you can also leverage paid advertising. So 
you can use the internet in one way, which is just like putting content out like I'm doing here on YouTube. And that's a way to reach people. But it's it's a lot slower because I can't really directly control how many people see this. It's up to YouTube's algorithm or whatever, you know, so I can't control directly how many people see this. But there is another way to do it, which is to use paid advertising where you pay a certain amount of money and then you can get your content out in front of more people just by paying for it, paying for that reach. And that's leverage. You're exchanging money to get in front of more people. That's using leverage. Okay. So specifically in, in our business, what we're doing is we're using paid advertising to grow her business and get in front of way more people than we could doing it just the organic way without paying. You know, if we we're doing it the free way, it would take a lot longer. So what we're doing currently is we're spending money on advertising and using that to sell her product. So for every $10 that we spend on advertising, we're making about $100 in return. So for every $10, we make $100. For every $100 we spend, we make $1,000. For every $1,000 we spend, we make $10,000. So the more money we spend, the more money we make. So we're using that leverage. We're leveraging the internet. We're leveraging paid advertising to scale a business and create financial success without hard work. Now, I'm not saying it takes no work because, yeah, we have to create the product. We have to gain the knowledge and the expertise. We have to give value. We have to be putting ourselves out there. We have to be facing our fears, getting outside of our comfort zone, learning new things. All of that requires effort. It requires work. But there is a tipping point. In the beginning, it's usually a lot more hard work, but there, re there reaches a, a tipping point when you have a certain knowledge, certain awareness, and you know how to leverage the internet. There's a tipping point where all that hard work you put in the, in the beginning, it starts to pay off, and then it gets easy, very easy, when you know the right button to push, right? So we're spending a hundred dollars and we're making a thousand. We're spending a thousand, we're making ten thousand, and we can keep spending money on advertising and keep reaching more people and we keep making more money in return for that. So most of the hard work was done up front. You know, we both have years of experience. So I'm not saying this is just like going to happen overnight. We both have many years of experience in our field of expertise. So yeah, it took a lot of work in the beginning, a lot of effort, a lot of struggle. But now that we did all that work up front, now we can really leverage the internet. We can really maximize that law of leverage and create success very rapidly. So I hope this makes sense. I just wanted to like make you aware that success is not about hard work. I'm not saying it doesn't require work, but it doesn't have to be hard work. It can be work you enjoy. You can be doing something you love. I mean, I love sharing with you through these videos, through these podcasts. I, I really do love it. And I would do it if I wasn't even, if I wasn't getting paid for it, you know, I would do it for free. And that is really what I want for everyone. You know, I want people to not have to live a life that they don't enjoy. You know, I mean, life is precious. If you're not doing something you love every day, if you're not enjoying your life, I mean, you're wasting a golden opportunity. You know, I think we all can create freedom and success in our life by doing what we love. If we just align with these different universal laws, like the law of leverage and the law of compensation, if we can use these laws in a strategic way, then we can create success and at the same time, not sacrifice our peace of mind in order to create the success. Most people don't really push themselves to achieve anything because they're sacrificing their comfort in the moment and they don't want to do that they don't want to sacrifice their comfort and their peace in order just to create success that might not even come for years down the road right so the solution to that is to stop sacrificing and to start just doing something you enjoy but just be strategic about it you know it's not just about doing what you enjoy but it's also about using different laws like the law of leverage and compensation in order to use what you love and get paid for doing what you love, right? So you have to be strategic about it, but you can do it in a way that is enjoyable. And it doesn't have to be this struggle, this effort. And sometimes you, you don't know what it is that you're going to love until you actually do it. Like when I first started making YouTube videos, I didn't really love it, you know? 
And some days I still don't love it. Some days I don't want to do it. But when I do start doing it and start making this this value for the world, I start to really enjoy it. So I don't, you don't always enjoy it until you're actually in the process of doing it, right? So sometimes you have to try different things and experiment to find out what it is you really do enjoy. And then once you find that thing, then you can start using the law of compensation and the law of leverage to turn that passion or that love of yours into a full-time career, really, and create a lot of freedom, a lot of abundance in your life, and a lot of fulfillment as well. So you can have the best of both worlds, peace and prosperity. That's why I call this the Peace and Prosperity Podcast, because I want to help people have the best of both worlds. You don't have to sacrifice your peace in order to create prosperity. And just because you have prosperity doesn't mean you can't be at peace as well. You know, you can have both. Uh, A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people think, you know, if you're going to go for peace of mind, then you have to give up all worldly things, you know. You have to go meditate in a cave and give up your job and money and stop pursuing money or anything like that, you know. People think you you can only have one or the other, right? And that if you're pursuing prosperity and more money, then that means that you're not a spiritual person or, or whatever, you know. we have, People have all these crazy beliefs about it. I believe it's not about about one or the other. It's not about just having peace or just having prosperity, but you can't have both. I think you can have both. And that's what I'm on a mission to share with the world is how to get both by aligning with the 12 laws of peace and prosperity. So if you want to learn about all 12 of these laws, I put together a PDF guide for you that explains each of the 12 laws and how it applies to your life and how you can start to harness the power of those laws to create a life of freedom, fulfillment, and abundance. So you can download that guide uh, at the12laws.com or there should be a link in this video or below in the description somewhere. Or just go to the12laws.com and you can download that for free. So I hope this episode has helped you. Uh, If it has, please subscribe to the channel, like, share this with someone if you think it could benefit them. I would really, really appreciate that. And make sure you hit the notification bell if you're on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube. Hit the notification bell so that you get updated with uh, all my episodes. I'll be producing at least two of these every single week. So thank you for being here, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next episode. Peace.